Barnet 4, Maidstone United 3. You must be delighted with that result. We do things quite entertainingly here at the minute, don't we? So 12 games, a lot of high scoring games. Well, I thought we should have won more convincing. A little bit disappointed we didn't control the game better at times. Obviously, when we go 3-1 up, they're going to throw caution to the wind, which they did. Trying a lot at us. So I've got a ricochet and the lads hit a good strike from the edge of the box. It just shows you there's just no easy games in the division. And uh, I know Hack could be disappointed to talk with his team's performance and the way they can see their goals. But I thought some of their goals were excellent. Their first goal was an outstanding cross. And the work rate of the players and the way our supporters got behind us, even at 4-3, they really got behind us and dug us through it uh, late in the game. So uh, ideally, uh, we don't have to we, we don't have to defend that. You know, we should really be four two up, if not three one up, go four one up. But you know, there's a lot of confidence shattered at the minute. We're in our place. People might see that. You can see lads a little bit, you know, sort of like cautious to run forward when they should and control the ball, have a bit more control in possession. And um, but our walk rate. Like I say, our togetherness today from my supporters driving us forward and the way they clapped us off at the end, I'm delighted for them too. Is that the way you had to bounce back tonight? Obviously, we needed the win. Uh, it was great to score four goals in front of a home victory, in, in front of a home uh, crowd. Nicky Cabamba scored a couple of great goals. I think him and Rob Hall were right up there with man of the match tonight. What was your assessment of Nicky's performance? Yeah, I thought both of them were outstanding. Nicky could add more, couldn't he? Yeah. He had plenty of chances, but I thought Hawley's starting position quality show the ball in for the fourth goal is just outrageous it's that good it's Premier League level and uh, and then he, he hasn't been in the team of late he walked his socks off he's got through 90 minutes he made a header right at the end when it was 4-2 uh, defensive recovery header in his own box and that's he's not renowned for that and that just shows you we've got good characters at our football club we've got lads that are going to give their all and I said to our supporters all along that our players will continue to do that and Nicky's got himself a brace tonight cut, cut the centre half on the ball late in the game and uh, Took his goal really, really well. So I'm delighted for Nicky. I always said to you, once he keeps getting chances, getting the end of chances, he'll score a goal. So I think that's his seventh of the season now. So it's a good return for him winning 12 games. Absolutely. Obviously, we conceded three and we managed to get across the line. What will you be hoping to do defensively going forwards? We're going to have to defend much better on Saturday. You know, Rex and Marat, Juggernaut in this division. Um, and they've got some fantastic players. Um, so look, we'll go there with a game plan. Um, we want to play our way though, we do want to play on the front foot like we did at Solihull, they're another good side in the division that I expect to be in the title race, so and we'll go there and it's gonna, it's, it'll be a big occasion for us um, and we're looking forward to it, it's nice to go there off the back of a win and uh, hopefully we can implement what we're good at and stop what, what they're good at as well, so that we're going to have to do a lot of good defending at times, much better than what we've done of recent, so um, we'll work on it on Tuesday morning and uh, we'll debrief this game as well on Tuesday morning video session, so yeah, we're going to have to improve. Let's look a little bit more about a couple of players from tonight, Idris Kanu and Dale Gorman. Uh, Idris into the squad and into the uh, starting eleven. What do you make of his performance? Some really good hold-up play and some really good uh, play throughout the game. Yeah, he's got ability, Idris. Um, loads of ability. So he hasn't played for a while. He's been away with Sierra Leone on international duty. He picked up that ankle injury away at Solihull. So it's been a bit stop-start from. He just got to understand we want him to run in behind without the ball. That's so important. He penetrates with his runs. He's got good pace. He's got good quality. And if we get his numbers right as well, which is important, get him scoring and creating more goals, uh, he'll have a good season. But uh, he's a young player as well, he's only 22, so uh, yeah, I think he'll do really well for us. And Gorms? Gormo, yeah, Gorm was a season player, you know, good free kick when we needed it, that's what we needed. He's street wise, he's cunning, he's technically excellent. Um, and I thought he led, led by example today as, a, as our captain. As you said, go to Wrexham this weekend, I wish you the best of luck. Cheers, Dean. <laughs>